what is up guys I hope you're all doing well I have just got this through the post and today we are going to be fitting mud guards to the A35 before I do get on fitting these I would very much appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button it would make a massive difference to my channel and um, drop a comment below let me know if you have subscribed and I will get back to you as soon as I can um, yeah without further ado here is the package so that is what the mud guard looks like there's not really much a lot into it it's just basically two plastic bits with holes in one side is smooth the other side is not and it's got some 3m tapes just to hold it in place as well i got these from ebay they were about 27 quid i'll pop the ad right here and um, 27 quid plus shipping and they arrived quite quick and it fit through the post box so i didn't even need to wait for it as well so yeah 27 pounds pretty good price i guess so yeah let's go start fitting these what a nice day today so before you do get on with fitting the mud guards make sure you've got your appropriate tools so i've got some anti-pack wipes and some tissues just to clean the area of where the mud guards are going to stick and i've also got some plastic trim tools to pry out the plastic trims if you do not have one of these i think you can just use a blunt butter knife but it has to be really thin so you can get under the plastic trim to take it off so yeah let's get into it so first things first is to clean the area of where the 3m tape is gonna stick so it'll be this bit here i'm just gonna use some tesco anti-back wipes to clean that up and the next thing is to pry these out of them if you can see So there's one plastic trim there, this one here, and another one next to it as well. So pry these out using your trim tools or butter knife, whatever you've got. So take the middle part off first, like so. Then pull the middle part, like so. And it should, the whole thing should just come off and do the same for the other one as well and that's the second one off that on the safe side so I've temporarily put this plastic trim on aligned everything from the back like so but the other hole on the plastic trim is just a little bit low so what i've done is i've just scored the hole to make scratches on the mud guard so i know where to sort of drill so this is the current problem we've got the holes are meant to be over there because they don't line up very well with the they don't line up very well with the um, the pre-existing holes in the a35 so we'll drill a hole there and hopefully we should get back into it real quick so that is it we are back in action i've extended the bottom hole a little bit so it can so it lines up with the holes on the car so I fitted the wheel arch on. I'm just going to keep it loose. Well, this is what it looks like right now. 
that's in and that is also in now as well yeah boy line that up secure everything remove the back of the tapes and we should be good So the right hand side of the car is now all done and we're just going to do the same thing as well on the left hand side. That is it, the flaps are on. I'll have to ask my accountant about that. So that is it, the mud guards are on, finished. Yeah, quite happy with the results, it looks all right. The only thing I don't like is that the 3M tape is a little bit visible, but yeah, other than that, it's good, it looks all right. And yeah, that is it for the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like down below, subscribe, and comment thank you so much for watching stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video